Hello everyone, in this demo we will see what is an interface and what is the use of an interface. So till now we have seen classes, the concept in classes and we saw various implementations of classes, we saw inheritance using classes and we implemented single level inheritance that means I am driving a new class from an existing base class and multi level inheritance that is I am driving a new class from an existing base class which is derived from another base class that is called as your multi level inheritance. Now if I have a situation where I want to implement multiple inheritance that means if I have two base classes and a single derived class if I have two base classes and a single derived class for example say I have class A and another class B and a class C I have three classes here if I inherit class A in class B now this is my single level inheritance if I inherit class B in class C this is my multi level why because I am inheriting class B in class C whereas class B has already inherited class A so this is multi level a B then C this is possible using classes in C sharp now for example I want to proceed in this way I have a class C and I want to implement or inherit class A as well as B so this is not at all possible using classes in your C sharp see that it throws an error what is it let us read out cannot have multiple base classes I cannot have multiple base classes there must be one and only one base class but say that for example I got a situation or scenario where I want to go for multiple inheritance then I can do that with the help of interfaces I can declare two interfaces and then I can go for multiple inheritance now you see that it will allow me to do this so when should I use interface I should use interface whenever I have the scenario where I want to implement multiple inheritance now what is interface interface is nothing but it is also the blueprint of the problem and I can say it is pure abstract class that means it will have abstracts members that's it it defines what is that I should do so an interface contains methods we cannot have fields constructors destructors or static members inside an interface an interface can contain methods properties and events we will see what are events in our uh, future videos so I can say that interface is nothing but it is pure abstract class so I need not to say that the method uh, you know is abstract using abstract keyword I can simply give the prototype I'll say void show I can say void display and here I'll pass a message I'll say string msg say I have one parameterized method so these are the prototypes of two methods so an abstract method is a method which does not have body and it is declared with the keyword abstract whereas in an interface if I declare the method by default it will become abstract as well as public I need not to give the method as public and abstract by default all the members in an interface are public and abstract 
okay if i give public what will happen it will not allow me to give public i cannot use access specifier public is invalid so by default they are public so i got an interface a with two method say i have interface b void view that's it now if i am inheriting both the interfaces then it becomes a must for me to implement all the members of both interface a as well as interface b see that interface see that c does not implement the interface members view display and show so i need to implement them so when i am implementing them i should make them as public then i'll simply say void show i'm going to implement that method with the public keyword and here i'll say console dot write line this is show method now let me execute this let us see what it says it says that i need to implement even view as well as display so i'll be implementing rest of the methods and no. fine i got uh, you know i have implemented all the abstract members member because it is not public i need to make it as public i'll execute this so i have implemented multiple inheritance now let me create the object of class c equals to new c now what are the methods that i can access using the object c i can access all i can access display i need to pass a message i'll say manzu the trainer and c dot show and c dot view console dot read line just execute this so it is displaying the message and everything just press enter fine now uh, what is it i want to do is as i told you it is just similar to your abstract class or it is a pure abstract class interface can we can call it as pure abstract class can i implement runtime polymorphism using this definitely so if i want to implement runtime polymorphism what is that i should do i should follow the same procedure that i did earlier i can make a reference of interface uh, what is the interface a a is the interface i can make a reference of interface a and i can make it an object of the class at runtime i'll say a equals to new c now what are the methods that can that i can access now our common thinking or is that i can access all the three methods why because now a is an object of class c a is an object of class c so i should be able to access all the methods that means i should access a dot display a dot show a dot view now let me uh, implement that and let us see what it says i'll say a dot display a dot show a dot view now i'll execute this it throws an error what is that let us read out does not contain a definition for view and no extension method view accepting a first argument uh, it could not be found are you missing a so i'm getting some error message regarding view what is that could not be found view could not be found it means that a i am making the reference of interface a i have interface a do i have view method in this no so if i am making the reference of interface 
then I can implement or I can execute only those methods or I can invoke only those methods which are available in interface A if I am making the reference of A that means if I make the reference of B that means I cannot implement view right why because view does not contains in your interface A now if I create the reference of B interface now what is that I can do can I implement B dot display definitely not why why see see that it says could not be found why because B is the reference of interface B so interface B contains only one method that is view so I can implement only view I cannot implement I can neither implement display nor show I can implement only view so if I am making the reference of interface and I want to make it an object of the drive class say b equals to new c then I can implement only those methods which are declared in the interface so if I execute see that now it works fine so using the reference of interface a I cannot invoke the methods of reference interface b and using the reference of interface b I cannot invoke the methods which are defined in interface a if I am making the reference of interface a I can imp invoke only these two methods if I am making the reference of b then I can invoke only this method so it is same as your abstract classes if I want to implement runtime polymorphism definitely I can implement why because I am creating the reference then I can make the object and runtime depending upon the user's input so I can implement runtime polymorphism using interfaces thank you very much